Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing Chin Ching number 144. I am not feeling so great today. I just have really bad cramps, but it is Chin Ching day, so we're just going to get through this. So the first thing that I have, and you guys might remember seeing this recently in a haul video, but this is a ceramic hanging string yarn holder um, with scissors. It was shaped like a fox, right? And then the scissors go above his nose, so it looks like he's wearing eyeglasses. And then you can pull the string, it sits behind it, pull the string out of his mouth. So just hang it up and it's just like a handy dandy cutesy little thing. Uh, we did win this at an auction and sold it for $79.99. Uh, next item I have, I actually sold two trucker hats recently. I feel like trucker hats were like super popular for a while and then I feel like it kind of died off or I don't know, I just wasn't selling any. Uh, but I sold two within like the past day. So I don't know, maybe trucker hats are hot again. <laughs> I'm not sure. But the first one is an Oregon State trucker hat. This is one that has the three stripes. You guys, I'm sure I've heard me talk about the vintage trucker hats before with the three stripes. I like to pick those up when I see them because people that do like trucker hats and collecting them do like the three stripes on the sides for some reason. Uh, anyway, that one sold for $49.99. Probably picked that up at a yard sale. Uh, I also sold a vintage My Little Pony Petite Pony. So I don't know if any everyone is going to remember these, but back when My Little Ponies first came out, Obviously, you had like the regular size My Little Ponies, but then they came out with petite ponies. So they're like miniature versions of the ponies. And this one was a petite pony and that sold for $25.99. I have a bunch of those to list, an absolute bunch of them. I have so much pony stuff. It's insane. I bought a ton of a vintage My Little Pony stuff from the lady I've been buying uh, toys from and currently they're all still in our storage unit um, so hopefully I can get to those come spring summer I would like to start getting the all the pony stuff listed and I'm gonna be taking you guys over to our storage unit at some point around that time and making a little bit of a video so you can see just how much stuff it's not something i'm proud of because like a lot of it still too is things that i took from my parents house that i wasn't ready to go through or get rid of or anything like that so i really need to to go over there one day when it's nice out and kind of sort through some of the stuff that's over there because it's time that i do that um, I sold a Pyrex Gooseberry two and a half quart bowl for $99 and 99 cents. Um, Pyrex stuff goes for a lot anytime it comes up at auction. Um, so it's one of those things where I can sometimes get my hands on it, but a lot of the times I can't, um, uh, because it's not only resellers that are after it, but also collectors as well. Um, so I'm going to try and keep my eyes peeled come this yard sale season to pick up pieces here and there that I can find. Um, also sold, somebody bought, because I had a ton of these. These are the Vintage Avon brushes from 1997, brand new. Got these at an auction. I was paying a dollar a piece for these hair brushes. I had so many. I am only down to like a couple now. I've been consistently selling them for like 22 some dollars and change a piece. This person purchased five of the hair brushes for a total of $114.95. So they are getting down there. I'm going to be so upset when I don't have any more of those. <laughs> um, so here's another vintage uh, trucker style hat. This one said American Rodeo Finals on it. That sold for $19.99. So you saw in one of my last 
auction haul videos where we went through the box I had gotten a box of vintage Christmas ornaments and there were some I think there were two of these plastic um glow-in-the-dark hard plastic glow-in-the-dark ornaments I actually think these might have been carnival prizes correct me if I'm wrong because that is is before my time um but when I was doing research I, I saw a lot of people were putting carnival in the title so these do glow in the dark it weirdly enough they glow blue in in the dark um when you take a picture of it it's just they're kind of wild anyway I had two of these from a private pick that Eric and I went to that I had never gotten listed and then I had two that came in the box of Christmas ornaments that we won at the auction so I just listed all of them you know since I was listing the other two I grabbed the other two as well so upon my research of these some of the animals are worth way more than others so it's one of those things like if you come across one I would definitely look it up because it could be a more rare one and you'll see what I'm talking about in this stitching because they're all in here I believe uh, so this one here was the duck and it sold for the most it sold for $50 and I pretty much paid $50 for the box of ornaments that this came out of so like I'm already going to start profiting anything else that I sell out of that box so I was not expecting that at all like not at all I had no idea there was a lot of value in these but like I said it all depends on the animal so the next item that I sold is a beauty item this was an Elemis facial oil that sold for $29.99 came from an auction you guys know I love buying beauty stuff at auctions um just today I was in the garage and I stumbled upon a tote full of more beauty items so I had I oh my gosh I need help with listing I really do I need to hire someone to help list um so here's another one of those plastic um ornaments this one was of a sheep that one sold for $23.50, so definitely not as desirable as the duck. This person also purchased a lion that I had. This one sold for $12.99, so again, you can see there are some that just don't have that as high of a value as others. I also sold a Rainbow Bright Starlight Horse Plush for $29.99. That came from the lady I'm buying toys from. This next item came from an auction. It was a metal trash can um, Winchester. So it was on the front and the back. I like picking up the vintage metal uh, trash cans when I see them depending on the subject matter and condition uh, but they do tend to sell and for decent decent prices I also sold that reuse wooden musical ballerina music box that I recently picked up at an auction I did pay ten dollars for this and it sold for twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents this next item I did have for a little while this was a Winnie the Pooh, I think it had Tigger on, probably Piglet, um, kind of a fall scene. It was a tapestry style blanket that came from a yard sale. I say we paid maybe four or five dollars for it and that sold for $45.99. I sold a Harley Davidson crossbody purse. This came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. Next item came from an auction. This was a folk art hand painted wooden red cardinal by Menno. That sold for $64.99. I sold a vintage, these are by Ertl. They're called Playground Kids. I had a bunch of these dolls with their accessories. I bought them at a yard sale. It was a tote full of them. I think I paid $10 for the tote. And I may be out of them now. They may have all sold now. I also sold, oh, these next two items went to a subscriber named Linda. She purchased a Torrid floral top from me for $19.99, as well as a beauty item. This one was a Peter Thomas Roth um, eye cream for $17.99. This next item came from an auction. It was a Christmas ornament um, from the museum 
uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art. It just came with some stuff that we won at an auction. I had no idea there was value in it, but you guys know I look up everything <laughs> that, you know, we do get at auctions and things like that. And it was actually worth listing. It sold for $19.99, so that was awesome. This next item also came from an auction and this is another instance of like, it came with some other stuff that we won. Granted, it was really cool and I figured I would list it regardless, but I didn't know the value in it until we went to list it and I was just blown away. So it's a covered butter dish, a stoneware covered butter dish of a rabbit sold for $125. I, I couldn't believe that one. That one was just amazing. That's like, me and Eric, we joke sometimes about falling into money and we'll joke about that about like some people that we know at the auction and you know we all know each other's ebay names and we're always like looking you know like what people are selling stuff for that they bought at the auction and whatnot and we always like joke around like so and so fell into some money because you know they sold something for like so much and we're like oh my gosh we had no idea that that was worth so much and that's another reason we like to be nosy because you are learning stuff from them as well so we we just have like a, a running joke about falling into money sometimes and that was an instance of us falling into money um so the next item was a glass a swirled glass this was really cool like a hot rod uh stick shift knob that you would put you know on the stick shift that sold for $39.99 and that came from the private pick that Eric and I had gone to ah I need another private pick to go to I feel like it's been a while <laughs> Um, next item did come from the antique store. Eric picked up this Josh Simpson paperweight at the antique store. He paid $45 for it and it sold for $225. So that was a good pickup. Anytime we're at like antique stores, Eric really likes looking at paperweights. That's like one thing that he's just always like on the lookout for. Um, I sold a Wedgwood basalt um, Egyptian box for $39.99. That came from an auction. Uh, next item also came from an auction. This was for a set of four um, tiles. They all had frogs on them. They were by someone named Natalie Serving. Sold for $69.99. Another beauty item, again, another Peter Thomas Roth. This one was an unwrinkle serum. That sold for $79.99. I'm pretty sure this next item also came from an antique store. It was by Primitives by Kathy. Um, they were Halloween themed ornaments, like black chenille stars. And I believe they had little pumpkin faces in the middle, I wanna say. Those over $29.99 and I think I paid four dollars for them I want to say um I also sold a vintage NASCAR all over print Winston Cup shirt for $45 Eric had won a bunch of vintage NASCAR shirts at the auction one day I think there's another one in this cha-ching as well this next item came from a yard sale it was so weird I just had to buy it it was a Shawnee cat planter but somebody put a bulb in it so it lit up. It was just the oddest thing ever, in my opinion. I mean, I love that kind of stuff though. I paid $1.50 for it at a yard sale. It sold for $29.99. I sold a Lefton Miss Pris planter. This did have some issues, but it is a harder to find piece. This did come off of Facebook Marketplace. It sold for $53.99 and I think we paid $10 for it. I sold a vintage coach wallet for $39.99 that came from an auction. Next item also came from an auction. This was a tin Easter egg by Jay Chien. That sold for $24.99. Um, I listed three of these enamelware mugs, 
three different colored ones, but this was the only one that sold so far. Um, this one was a green swirled one that sold for $15. They came from a yard sale. Uh, next item was a vintage uh, Hot Wheels car. This is a red line. So basically, if you aren't familiar with um, Hot Wheels and the red lines, the red lines are like really popular. They're the ones people seem to really collect. And basically, it's just there's little like a red line circle on the wheel. That's how you tell. So anyway, this was just mixed in with a bunch of just random <laughs> I hate cursing on camera or anything like that but it was just in a box of random ass toys that we had won at an auction I didn't even know it was in there anyway it sold for $27 so it's just it's awesome when you get something from an auction that you didn't necessarily purchase it for but it still sells for decent money falling into money. <laughs> um, next item also came from an auction. This was by someone named James Klinger. It was a heron bird uh, wall hanging that sold for $49.99. We sold two of our Viking Diamond Point Fairy Lamps. The first one was um, in the shade Thistle Pink that sold for $260 and the same person that purchased that Purchased the next one in Alexandrite pink, also sold for $260. And it came from the Viking Glass Lady. Um, here's another beauty item. This was a Tula Aqua Infusion Power, Power Liquid. No idea what that is. Uh, it sold for $49.99. I sold a doll. This was called an Only Hearts doll. I had never heard of these before. But I did, I found it at a yard sale and I just thought it was the cutest doll ever. So I picked it up. It wasn't worth a whole heck of a lot. It did take a while to sell, but I still stand behind the fact that it's a really cute doll. Uh, that sold for $19.99. Um, next we sold a vintage wooden bar sign. It said something like only the choicest intoxicants served at this bar or something like that. Eric won that I believe at an auction and it sold for $39.99. Sold another vintage NASCAR shirt that came from an auction. This one was a Richard Petty that sold for $69.99. I sold a Fenton Carnival Glass Deer. I absolutely loved the look of this. I love that that glass that just looks like an oil spill kind of thing and that's what this looked like. It sold for $59.99 and that did come from an auction. We sold two Norman Brum copper and enamel birds. I'm not even kidding guys. We still have probably at least one maybe two more totes of these Norman Brum birds that just haven't been listed yet. We sold a lot um, but we still have more. It's just insane. That's why I'm saying <laughs> I need help with listing stuff because it's just too much. Anyway, this first one sold for $205 and then the other one that sold, went to the same person, um, sold for $235 and they both came from an auction. Uh, next item also came from an auction. This is another one of those Trimper Ocean City Maryland carousel horses. This one sold for $180.50. It was called Black Magic. I have a lion one listed. It never got any bids. I had to relist it as a buy it now. So that's the, that's the first one now that hasn't actually sold yet. I still do have one more I need to list, but it's just a horse. I sold, this was by a company called Lomonosov, if I'm pronouncing that right. It's Russian. It was a little Russian monkey scratching itself figure that sold for $14.99. And did, that did take a while to sell and it came from an auction. Next item also came from an auction. This was a cloisonne little miniature kind of ginger jar that sold for $12.99. 
sold a Mark by Avon body spray for $14. I did take a best offer off of that. Here's another one of those plastic ornaments. This one was an elephant that sold for $12.99. I think the little hook on that one was broken off too. So, but it wasn't really a desirable animal either. And then the last thing that I have for this Cha-Ching is a little Lundby dollhouse lamp that sold for $11.99. So that is pretty much everything for this Cha-Ching. As far as my eBay sales, they are up 0.6%. So um, not too bad. I do feel like lately I've been having a little bit of an influx with non-paying bidders. I feel like it's been a while since since I've had issues with non-paying bidders, but I definitely feel like there have been a couple kind of back-to-back -back here lately, so that's never fun. But um, there's that. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I really wanted to touch upon as far as eBay goes. Um, I did actually, and this is kind of my own fault, so I'm taking complete and 100% blame for this. I'm a bad eBay buyer, I guess. I guess I am a bad eBay buyer. <laughs> so there it was a uh, set of Amelia Bedelia books that um, were on eBay and I went searching for them specifically one day because I had this set when I was younger. It was like a little boxed set of Amelia Bedelia books and I named Amelia after Amelia Bedelia because I loved those books when I was younger. So I went on eBay that day and I was like, I am going to buy these books because one, I want them back because, you know, they remind me of my childhood and two, I want to read them to Amelia because she's the reason I named her Amelia. So I, you know, looked at the pictures. I didn't read the description really. I was just looking at the pictures, seeing like what kind of condition they were in and bought them. So this was on... Valentine's Day. So February 14th. Today is the 18th. Um, and Monday, the post office is closed because it's a holiday, right? So purchase them on the 14th. I was telling Eric the other day, Saturday, I was like, my books haven't shipped yet. Like, that's weird. Um, I went and I looked back at the description and it said that they only ship on Tuesdays. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, well, good. They, they didn't forget about shipping the books, but it kind of like threw me for a loop to see that, that they only ship one day a week. That's kind of crazy. I can't imagine their seller stat rating status is good kind of thing like about like getting packages out in a timely manner I can't imagine they're like top rated seller status at all because of that but I understand because back when I worked a regular job you can only go to the post office so often especially if you have really weird hours or really weird days when you work and you just you can't like there's literally no way of getting to the post office so I understand, and it's my own fault for not reading the description that they only ship on Tuesdays. I'm not in like a huge hurry for them or anything, but after having that whole debacle on whatnot where my package got lost, I was just kind of like, I don't know, I was worried, I guess you could say, but it's okay because they should be shipped on Tuesday, hopefully. <laughs> we shall see. Um, but trying to think if there's anything else. I don't really think there's much else that I really wanted to to talk about. I do, I am going to be having a whatnot show. I think I have it scheduled for Friday. Vintage Christmas stuff, if anyone is any at all remotely interested in that. I'll put the link down in the description if you want to check it out. Um, my last whatnot show I tried, it was all Valentine's Day cards which is a very specific thing. Didn't go very good. Um, I kind of just want to do whatnot just to help get things moving. Get things moving out of here. You know what I mean? Sometimes, like, I'll just be thinking, like, 
I mean, I know I'm a reseller and I have to have inventory. Like, I have to have a lot of stuff because, you know, I'm selling it. But sometimes I just want to, like, get rid of absolutely everything. Like, literally everything. And just start over or something because I can't, I can't stand just even having stuff in the house taking up space it it pains me to even have a storage unit like I don't even like that um so yeah I just there's just times where like it just goes through my head of like it just it really bugs me of even like having inventory you guys have to let me know if you feel that way like if you ever feel overwhelmed by your inventory or if you ever just have those thought processes of just wanting to literally get rid of everything you own. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'd be happier in all honesty if I could just get rid of it all. Like even like I'm sitting in my room right now and you are sitting on my, my table. I have this like big kind of it's like a crafting box but I use it for like makeup and stuff like that my nail polish my makeup lip balms that kind of thing like just all of my beauty stuff basically and I want to get rid of all of it I want I want to get rid of my box I want to get rid of all of the contents <laughs> like I want to clear this whole room out of absolutely everything and then what I want to do is I want to get like a real comfy chair of some sort and put that in here, make like a little kind of like reading room nook type thing where I can just come and read and relax and not be surrounded by a bunch of makeup and stuff. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just the things that go through my head sometimes. <laughs> I need help. I need help listing more stuff. Like I feel sometimes like I don't get enough stuff listed in a day. Um, and then I kind of kick myself for it. I get down on myself for it. Like Michelle, you did have some extra time. You could have listed more, but instead you did this or you did that. Like I wanted to read or I wanted to watch Netflix or something like that and then I feel guilty for doing that instead of continuously working. I don't know if anyone else is like that, like if you get that way or like you feel bad about not continuously working, if you are like a reseller full time or whatnot, like, you know. But then the other part of me is like, I just want to enjoy my life kind of thing and I don't want to work all the time. So it's like a back and forth kind of thing with me. But I feel like I'm rambling now, but it's helping me because it's making me not think about how bad my cramps are. So <laughs> that's why I'm rambling so much. But I think I am going to get off here. Maybe I'll list some more stuff today. But see, now I have to edit this video, which chichings are very time consuming, having to like put all the pictures in when I'm editing and I just fear that I'm not going to get any more listed today. So that'll be that. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments if you struggle with any of those things I was talking about or not. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.